<laughs> we recently moved the boat from Florida where we bought it in St. Augustine over to the Mississippi coast. Mm -hmm. So that didn't quite go as we anticipated. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so we left here on a Thursday. I can't remember what mm -hmm. the date was, but we left here on a Thursday. Um, it's probably like what, one or two in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Something early afternoon. We went down, we picked up my dad. We made a pit stop and we picked up a new passenger, except he's currently driving. So maybe he's a driver. Dad, say hey. Hey. <laughs> we got there at about 1.30 in the morning, Friday morning, for those Eastern times, about 12.30 this time. Mm -hmm. So we were gonna stop along the way, but ended up just pushing through, so. That's how we roll. We got there Friday. Yep. And we were anticipating, we knew we had some boat projects to do. Mm hmm So we knew what? Uh, we knew uh, the roller furler for the jib, which is the front sail was broken and needed to be fixed. We knew the generator was overheated and uh, overheating and needed to be done. Uh, and, there was one other thing that I'm blanking yeah, on. Yeah, I do feel like there was one other thing. But it turned into so much more. So much more. So, <laughs> so we got there Friday morning, super, super early. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, we immediately slept. But then we got up and we were ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we made it and we're here. And we have a mess. And I've already burned my coffee maker out. I'm pretty sure I just blew it. So now on to the boat projects because that's what boat life is about, apparently. Mm -hmm. And worked all Friday, all Saturday. This whole time we were anticipating leaving the dock Sunday morning, mm -hmm. headed to Mississippi. When did we leave the dock? The next Friday. Friday. <laughs> Was that five days later? Um, a week later from when we got there. Yeah, so a week after we got there, when we were only planning on being there a few days and then leaving. And that was the first lesson on boat projects take two to three times longer than you think they do. Yeah, and I feel like we knew that. Like, we, we knew it was going to be more than we anticipated, but we still thought we could handle it. Because mm -hmm. it was just like two or three things. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. But after spending two days troubleshooting the dead gum <laughs> generator, only to find out that the difference between it working and not working was an O-ring that I had already replaced. But the new O-ring was too thick compared to the original meant to be part. And a lot of money and a specialist later only to figure that out you're just like okay and a lot of time later yeah a lot of time I mean, yeah. because that was one of the first things y'all started on mm -hmm. and when did it get fixed monday tuesday yeah tuesday you know hang on the hurricane rolled in oh and there was a hurricane delay but yeah. here i am doom doom Rock you like a hurricane. Don't rock us too hard, though. <laughs> yeah, so that. We'll get to that in a minute, but uh, no, it was the no, it was the Monday before the hurricane hit. I couldn't even remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, so we didn't even get the projects that we anticipated getting done. We didn't even get those done in time to leave. The generator took longer with the jib or Genoa. The um, shackle, finding mm -hmm. the right shackle size, that was, a, um, and then along the way, so we knew some of the ACs didn't work. Mm hmm yeah. So we knew, which ACs worked on the sea trial? All right, so yeah, the very, the very first time I slept on the boat, one, two, three, four of the seven AC units were working. Yeah, so we knew three weren't working. Which is not bad. Better than 50%. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah. So we knew that that a little, mm -hmm. you know, that that was not going to be perfect. Come to find out. 
after they got there. There's a lot more. Well, within a day or two, mm -hmm. none of them were working. Mm -hmm. None of them were working. The, the the first night aboard, we weren't in the right cabins or turned them on the right way. And so the next night, two of them worked. One in the main cat or saloon mm -hmm. and the bunk bed cabin, i.e. Lily's room. Yeah, the bunk room. Worked. And then the following night, none of them none worked. None of them worked. So... We're still sorting that out, but that was another thing that we did not mm -hmm. anticipate. And then the hurricane coming through. Mm -hmm. So the storm. Uh, hurricane Adalia. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. The storm, I mean, literally came out of nowhere, mm -hmm. right? And it didn't even come from the Atlantic side, which most of the time they come from the Atlantic side, which you've been watching. Mm -hmm. You've been watching the weather. Um, but this, this came from the Gulf side and then crossed over Florida and every tracking map, we're like, yeah, we're right there, <laughs> right at the bottom. Um, and so that, then we had to kind of prep for this storm and then undo, unprep <laughs> for the storm. Um, but it, I mean, it came through mm -hmm. and, uh, and blew over and was not Nothing was bad. not an issue other than time. Mm -hmm. Time was the only issue it did. But in, I mean, in that, I will say, so it took us longer to leave, mm -hmm. but I do think that we maximized our time while we were oh, there. Yeah. So even though we couldn't work outside because the winds were 20, 30 knots, um, we worked inside and got a ton done that although that didn't have to be done before we left, that wasn't one of the things cleaning out, um, all of that, Just it make... still helped. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we still maximized our time that we were there, mm -hmm. um, even though the hurricane delayed us leaving. So how did you feel the first day or two? Oh, it, super excited, but physically tired at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, because it was a lot of physical work, because boat yoga is a thing. Mm. Squeezing this big old sexy body into a tiny space is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to do many, many, many more times. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, we, you know, we, we worked on the engines, the generator, uh, cleaning water filters and strength, sea strainers and just a lot of things that I did not realize needed to be done. Yeah. On just the, the general little things mm -hmm. that just have to be kept up and done. And, um, and then too, figuring out where everything is. I mean, controls for everything. I mean, controls for the fresh water. I never found out about until oh, yeah. she we found discovered. Um, yeah. Well, and we discovered the owner's manual and the, yeah. <laughs> the map of where things are. So that helps. Um, but I feel like it went from excitement to, and a lot of work to, okay. Like we're finding more problems than we're fixing. Mm -hmm. Things are kind of going down. Um, I don't think we got too discouraged. We got a little discouraged, but we didn't get just completely, mm -hmm. um, completely down. I've been overwhelmed almost to the point of like not knowing what to do. Um, just there's so much. And there was lots of stuff in this kitchen, or it's really a galley is what it's called on a boat, that I don't know what to do with it. Um, so I'm going took a little break, had some lunch, and now I'm gonna get back after it and I'm taking everything out of this, all of these drawers and everything, and just putting back what I want. But then leaving later meant... I was not gonna be get back in time before I had to go back to work. Yeah, so it timed it with a holiday, with Labor Day, and we were planning on being back by Labor Day. Mm -hmm. And he ended up ha having to leave what day did you leave? The Tuesday after Labor Day? 
No, mon- I, no, I left the boat mon- Monday Labor Day night evening. Okay, so you left Monday mm-hmm. Labor Day, um, which was it's just a few days yeah, after. The, yeah, I mean, we left Friday, and I left. We left St. Augustine Friday morning, and I left the boat Monday evening. Evening. Hmm, that wasn't as much as I. Mm-mm. You weren't on there as long as I was thinking. Nope. You have way more sea miles than I do, Captain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Probably never hear Captain again. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so then there was that whole debate of, mm-hmm. okay, what do you need to do? How is that going to work out? How is that going to look? Do I go back with you? Do I stay? We did have somebody that had offered to come early on so we we knew that if you had to get off we had somebody to come and replace you but then what am i gonna do and so ended up meeting him at key largo Mm -hmm. we're gonna make it to key west yeah you were gonna go another day Mm -hmm. to key west and then ended up he was right at key largo we were pretty close to key largo so you hopped off Mm -hmm. and he got on thanks pistol (laughs) <laughs> I know, I wouldn't have made it without him. <laughs> and um, and so then we traveled the rest of the way. While I drove was, back and came back yeah. to work and land life. Yeah, because that was how many hours? 15? Mm, yeah, thir- well, 13. 13? Yeah. Hours. Um, and then, yeah, and then we came back. We... Mm-hmm. Y'all made it back. So from leaving Key West or you know Atlantic side of Key West, four days. Later. Well, it was Wednesday morning. It was Wednesday morning at seven fifteen ish mm-hmm. Eastern time. And y'all arrived at ten fifteen Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, so. and we went twenty four seven at that point once we left Key West. She caught freaking more fish than we did, and not only is she more sea miles, she's a better fisherman too. <laughs> I don't know that I can really take credit for any of the fish. <laughs> I can't take credit for any of the fish. Captain Pete put it all out there, and I just I just took pictures, and I cooked it. That's, that's all I did. Found a, a gentleman nice enough to give me recommendations and basically just tell me what I needed to buy. Um, so, Nels, I appreciate that. And yeah, and then we caught some fish, mm-hmm. and then we, and then it was good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't know how I was gonna do with you not being there, not being able to say land, going twenty four seven for that long because none of I had not done any of that before. It's the longest I'd been away from the kids mm-hmm. for a, that stretch of a time. But um, I mean, I missed y'all. She but, did great. I missed y'all, but I I made it. I think I did okay. Uh, She did great. Thanks, love. (laughs) I made it. Yeah, she did great. (laughs) And we could still FaceTime thanks to Starlink. Yeah, but it was... um, It was a little cut and dry. Cutting. Yeah, we just don't have it mounted where it needs to. So we had a little interruption in in service. Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall a good trip. Just took way longer than we thought. Blooper reel, take two. (laughs) (laughs) It does look like the beginning of that movie. Or that movie. (laughs) Okay, okay. All right, daily up.